Hey, good morning. It's Amy Welch, Independent Sapphire Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. For those of you who don't know me, what you see is what you get. So this morning, you guys get my fasting cardio bedhead look here. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick video to welcome everyone to the 21 Days Healthy Before the Holidays Challenge. I am so excited for this, you guys. And you know what? We're actually going to have a bonus week. So if you're in it with us, we're gonna go for the whole month. I am so excited. But I just wanted to do a quick video to talk about you know, what we're gonna do in the group, the meal plans, what you're gonna eat, what you can't eat, some of the exercises, what's expected, because I know we've had a lot of questions, okay? You know, the first thing for this week that you wanna focus on are, is your water. We're gonna do a water challenge. You wanna shoot for a gallon of water a day. And I know for a lot of people, that's a ton of water. You are probably not used to drinking that. Um, but water is so important. And I hear people say all of the time, Amy, I'm drinking plenty of water. I'm drinking plenty of water. I promise you, most of you are not. And, and here's how I know that, because I've been there. Whenever I hit a plateau, or if all of a sudden I'm like, boy, I'm tired all of a sudden, what's going on? It's because I haven't gotten my water intake for that day. If I'm bloated, um, if I just have some brain fog, I haven't had enough water for the day. So for me, what I have to do, I have a big water bottle. It's 32 ounces. It has hash marks for times of the day. I have to fill that thing up three times, and I know I have to drink it. Um, if I'm out running errands, I have to take that with me. If I'm on the road, I have to take it with me, or I will not get my water in. So... You know, for this whole challenge, the better prepared you are, the more successful you're going to be. That goes with our water, our food, and scheduling our exercise time. So that's the first thing. Get your water in. Tea does not count. Coffee does not count, guys. I know some of you are already asking that. You have to drink water. Now, you can flavor it with lemon or lime juice. Don't use anything that's a water flavorer unless it's sweetened with pure stevia extract. Even then, I wouldn't do it. Get used to drinking regular water. You can infuse your own water with fruit if you wanted to or cucumbers. Um, you can do that. That's totally fine for your water intake. Let's talk for a second though about the food. Well, let me back up for a minute. One, I have to give shout outs to some of the people that have put this together. Jamie Ricketts, you're going to see her in the group a ton. She's a rock star. She's helping with all of these workouts that we're going to be doing. Marion Murphy, she's actually having a baby today, but she is going to be helping. Lark Wessel, she's our resident marathoner. She is just awesome. She she knows a lot of stuff about health and wellness. Lauren Cloud's been helping out. She has found an awesome app and website for us to use. So I just had to give a shout out to you guys. You're going to see them posting a lot. Um, you know, throughout the 21 days, we're going to be posting a lot of cool things for you guys. We're going to be posting things about GMOs and why, why are those bad and things about foods that increase inflammation that you may not even know about, like peanut butter, tomatoes, all right? So we're going to just be educating people on some of these healthy foods. For a lot of you guys, this might be the first time where you have to eliminate some of this stuff, and it might be hard. Of course, you have Plexus, and I found that when I have done my elimination diets after I've been on Plexus, they are so much easier, right? Because we're not craving the junk anymore. So we're going to have a lot of posts about that. But today, let's talk just really quickly about some of the food, okay? You are, for this month, for the 21 days, you are cutting out junk. And I mean no fast food, no cookies, no cereals, mainly no sugar. If you cut out sugar, that's going to eliminate a lot of the junky, junky foods, okay? No white breads, no pastas, no... Um, no cream in your coffee, guys. That is loaded with sugar. Loaded. All right, so let me show you a couple things. One, you have to know how to read your labels. That's very, very important. You have to know how to read. I want to show you this label here. Now, this is my daughter's organic yogurt. Um, it won't let me flip the ca camera around, so I'm just going to have to hold it up. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you got to read the labels. And her organic strawberry yogurt, there are 14 grams of sugar in one pouch. Holy moly, I would not touch that with a 10-foot pole. So if you're eating like Greek yogurt and you think you're being super healthy, you got to look at the sugars, okay? The other thing, you know, there are hidden sugars everywhere. At my gym, there was a woman who was following the meal plan. And our, and our current meal plan, you basically get ground turkey, four or five different types of green vegetables and brown rice. That's it. She could not lose the weight. Could not, could not, could not. Finally found out, 
she was doing creamer in her coffee any morning and just that little bit of creamer was enough to derail her from her health goals. Now, I'm not saying you have to cut it out forever, right? I don't believe we cut anything out forever, but if you're committed to this 21 days, let's do it, okay? So look at the sugar content. The other thing you guys really want to avoid, artificial sweeteners. Hopefully, if you've already been on Plexus, you know how bad they are, you're avoiding them anyway. But do not do low sugar things. Those are just full of chemicals. Anything that says low carb or low sugar, 99.9999% of the time, it's full of artificial sweeteners. So stay away from aspartame and stay away from sucralose and anything else that's in there. There are sugar alcohols. Stay away from those, you guys. They are bad, bad, bad. They increase inflammation and, and especially aspartame and sucralose, they cause all kinds of other health issues. So stay away from those. Be a label reader. So what the heck can you eat? You can eat lean proteins. The best lean proteins are chicken breast, very lean ground turkey or ground chicken, egg whites. Egg whites are really good. Tuna, whole white tuna, also cod and other white fish. Now, if you're being super healthy, you wanna stay away from like tilapia and catfish because catfish is very fatty. Tilapia is usually um, uh, farm raised and so not caught in the wild, all right? So you just wanna look for a very healthy fish. You can also do lean red meat. It's not the best, but you know, it's great. You don't have to go crazy on this challenge, okay? The other thing is healthy carbs. What are healthy carbs? Because we're allowed to have carbs. Our body needs carbs, especially if we're working out. Brown rice, quinoa, oatmeal. And I'm not talking about the oatmeal in the packets, not the instant oatmeal in the packet you pop in the microwave, right? I'm talking old fashioned oats in the canister that your mama used to make, all right? Jasmine rice is a good one. A sweet potato. Sweet potato is a great carb. No butter and brown sugar. Um, but a sweet potato is really good. A lot of times I'll make a really good like ground beef taco mix with all natural ingredients and I'll put that on top of my sweet potato. Um, if you're going to have bread, the best bread to get is Ezekiel or some other sprouted grain bread. That's really important. So those are really good carbs. Now you can also have like a whole wheat pasta. I'm not a huge um, pasta fan, even if it is whole wheat, because those are usually full of other additives. I like more of the natural carbs. And then for veggies, the sky's the limit. I mean, there are some that are better than others, but let's not get too crazy. If it's a veggie, eat it. Load up, okay? Now, I have a lot of people say, oh my gosh, Amy, I'm traveling, or how do I do? What do I do if I'm traveling, or like I'm out with the family and we're at a restaurant? One, okay, um, restaurants I find are really really easy to eat healthy any restaurant can cook you a grilled chicken breast and steamed vegetables with no butter they have salads with protein on them you can get salmon you can usually get grilled chicken even shrimp and get dressing on the side if you're gonna do a dressing do a balsamic vinaigrette even better, do balsamic vinegar vinegar and olive oil, okay? Try to cut out the creamy ranches and things unless you're literally making them yourself at home. If you find yourself going through a fast food place, okay, you can eat healthy at a fast food place. Many places have grilled chicken fingers. You can get those. Many places have apple slices in the kids' meal. You can get those. Again, you can get salads with no dressings. You can get a lean burger with no bun. Like... It's possible to eat healthy, guys, when you're on the go. Do not use traveling or being busy as an excuse, okay? You just have to make that decision. Take it one meal at a time, too. Don't freak out and think like you have to eat healthy this entire week, because if you're like me, I would get overwhelmed. One meal at a time, one decision at a time, right? Because just like one day at the gym doesn't make us fit, one bad meal isn't gonna derail us, okay? So here's what I do. I'm going to show you some things. I can't turn this around, but look. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to show you. So P96, obviously, great, great, great snack, great breakfast. Use it. Be careful what you're adding to it, though, right? If you're looking at whole milk, look, whole milk has 11 grams of sugar for one cup. I like this coconut milk. It's unsweetened. It has zero grams of sugar and no junk in it. I love that. It's also carrageenan-free. Um, I also have my rolled oats here. I have my brown rice, have my quinoa, a great snack. Now you gotta be careful because they are full of fat, but it's a good fat. 
raw almonds. I'm gonna be showing you guys some awesome Instant Pot recipes, okay? Now, you don't have to go out and buy an Instant Pot just for this challenge, but put it on your Christmas list. I can cook brown rice in this thing and it does not stick. I can't even cook rice in a rice cooker. I can cook brown rice in this in seven minutes. I can cook frozen chicken breast in 10. I cook my quinoa in here and it's fluffy for the first time ever. It takes five minutes. So Instant Pot's the way to go. We're gonna be sharing a lot of recipes. The other thing I just want to mention really quickly, I know this video is getting long, I'm sorry, um, it are the exercises. So the exercises for this challenge, you're going to set your own goal, okay? It's up to you. You're going to set your daily goal. We are going to have things every week. We're going to have yoga, we're going to have cardio ideas, and we're going to have HIT, which is high impact interval training. And that is where it's at. If you want to change your body, you want to do those HIT workouts. But with any exercise program, you guys, work at your own pace. Just because you see Jamie jumping around over here on these tables doesn't mean you have to do it. Like for me, I have tendonitis in my wrist. I can't do push-ups. Push-ups are out, so I just do modified. Certain planks are out. I do modifications, okay? So go at your own pace. Same with the cardio. Guys, if you right now are at a point where you can only do 15 minutes a day, that's awesome. Do that. Don't feel like you have to jump in running three miles a day and doing 45 minutes of cardio, okay? So I'm just very excited you guys are here. I cannot wait. So many of you have already commented on which Plexus products you're using. Um, if anyone, just my personal story, I've been on Plexus now for almost two years. It's completely rocked my world. I only have half of a thyroid left and I'm off of my medication, so I'm happy to share. Okay, baby girl, thank you. Sorry, working at home. So I have, okay, go get it. So I have um, a great testimony for anyone who has thyroid issues. Like my hair used to fall out. I was tired. I was overweight. I was on medication. Um, plexus is where it's at. So you guys, you definitely have to keep your, do your plexus. Be consistent. I don't care what you're on. Work with your upline if you're brand new on what's best for you. I'm on the triplex and the X factor. I do the P96, sometimes the Omega, and Ease is my new best friend. So I'm excited. I'm glad you guys are here. Let's rock this month and get healthy.